Hello everybody and welcome back to Timberborn once again. Now in this episode we are... Oh, that looks like a little odd. Let's... Ah, here we go. I just started to uh, scroll it up a little bit. So uh, in this episode we are gonna build up the District 3. The We were talking about having some more housing in here and just changing this place uh, up a little bit. So the first thing... Oh, by the way, if you hear some sort of knocking coming through the microphone, it's because there's some re renovations next door. So, uh, But I do hope uh, none of that is going to come through. Um, right, so the first thing we'll have to do here is let's check how many people we... beavers we have in here. Only 15. So we are going to need quite a few more uh, builder huts. Uh, here's one. And we will set up about three at least, just to speed up the process of, of building. And then what we'll also do is... So we... I mean, we could, we, we could always just transfer them back and forth between the districts. However... It's a little bit... It's just, it's just some extra micromanagement, right? So we're, we're going to put some... Uh, housing temporary housing for for them over there and then in our main colony we will need another distribution center and let's get rid of some of these plants in here as well i'm um, just gonna quickly check the size of the distribution post Okay, so we need to get rid of one more. And let's up the priority as well. And the reason for that is... Right now, we are importing blanks and wood from District 2. But the blanks come from District 1. So they have to go through this extra extra layer. Or essentially like a middle middleman. Um, it will be much better if we do it... Transfer the resources directly. What we can at least. Uh, which means the next thing we'll need, let's put it right next to here, I suppose. Yep. And we'll speed up the time just a tiny bit as well. Now, with this location, that is going to turn, I think, into, into a bit of farmland. We are importing resources from District 2 right now. So I was thinking, how about we change this up a little bit? Uh, make them self-sustainable, have some food, maybe build even a nice, uh, nice little warehouse over here, and that should be it. Should be pretty good. So for that, we are gonna need some dynamite as well, which will go there. Also, now that we do have water here, is it still coming through? Oh, we're in the drought, of course. So that's gonna take a little bit more time, and it seems the beavers from District 1 can come and build these houses over here, which is quite interesting. Okay, uh, let's put down the distribution post in here as well. And whilst we're on it, let's have a quick check on the rest of the colony before we get too crazy. Let's have a look what you are exporting. Um, logs... Okay, seems we could use a bit more water in here. Is it coming through? It is not. And what we'll also do in here, quick touch-ups in, in this district. We'll do something like so and put some, give them some more carrots as well, because I'm pretty, pretty sure we're not producing enough over here. So let's do something like that. A few more maples to go around as well. Okay, that should be good. Water is fine there. Let's see, we've got a few more log piles. Let's get rid of you. And another house. Oh, wait. Let's just uh, pause them. Well, actually, do have this builders are done now too. So let's increase the 
amount of beavers that, that can work in there. And same with this one. We're going to need some more beaver power in this one. And what we are going to do is set up the first route to deliver blanks. Now we're going to need a lot of blanks. And secondly, what we will want here is explosives. If I can just find them and nice, which means, oh, we don't, we're not exporting any explosives from here anymore. Well, that's good. We'll pause you. And carrots, water, blanks. Blanks we can now get rid of. And I was thinking with water, we will have them, I guess, somewhere here as well. Well, for now, this should do. And we'll bring this road straight. Oh, okay, we, we are going to need another lumber check just for a second to get rid of uh, these couple of trees over there. And we got those final little houses nearly built as well. Uh, the next step will be to put in those platforms. Just like so. And in case they still want to go all the way down, we'll give them an uh, alternative uh, route to do so. And we'll put roads up here as well. I think we'll lower the priority. Oh, well, the. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, <laughs> they've already built some of them. Um, uh oh. Right, we are going to have to let some water go into into this side too. Don't want to lose all, all our crops. Hopefully we haven't lost them already. Uh, that was a close one. I suppose this is about the right height. We'll raise up one of them though. So that way we're slowly letting some water come, come this side. I think with these pumps, because we are, are in the drought... We'll pause them for the time being. Uh, just to be a bit more beaver efficient. Uh, let me just quickly see. Is there anything else we can pause? Right. One thing we can actually do. Since we do have about 20,000 uh, points in here. Science points. We can just unlock all those. And uh, the rest of the research. Not going to build them just yet. I just want to see if we still need them running or not. Seems we've unlocked pretty much most things. And anything else in here? Yep. Okay, so that should be everything unlocked now. Now, a couple more con comments now that I saw those metal platforms. It actually reminded me that there was a few people that suggested having metal platforms and then building uh, levees on top of them. Uh, where are the levees? They are right here. So same thing with metal platforms. You are unable to do so. So let's get let's get rid of uh, you. Uh, the only I saw a Reddit post where I'll try and if I find the link, I'll put it in this description. Um, the post essentially said that the only thing you can uh, build levees on top are these roofs over here and if we give it a quick try quick test and that seems to be the case so essentially you sh should be able to do it that's not enough space in there but um we need a three by three by two and now what we could do we could put this roof directly above it and afterwards we could build levees on top now the post did mention that there's some weird water dynamics happening if uh, if you do it this way uh, but that seems to be a bit of a bug uh, to be honest because the one of the developers commented there as well that it will be patched in the next update so if you do use this in your builds just be aware this might be patched out and um, yeah, I don't think we'll be able to do this in the future. But just thought I'd 
share uh, this with, with all of you. Since there was a lot of uh, comments about this uh, whole whole design in here. Okay, so we've unlocked pretty much everything. I think, well, not pretty much, we have unlocked everything. This means we can get rid of all these inventor posts. That's going to free up quite a few beavers. There's one more here. Did we put any more of these? I don't think so. I think that's good. Okay, so that freed up. We've got 10 unemployed beavers now. And this means we can bring them over to this side. So let's say we are going to migrate about 10 adults. They will all become uh, hopefully, hopefully builders. And in this district we have four youngsters. So um, we'll send you to district 1. At least for the time being. And we still have three homeless. So that means can open up this building here. Yep, and we are fine now. Alright, so we should have a whole team of builders now. And what we are also going to do, we're slowly expanding um, some canals going that way. Hmm, let's see. Really want to cut those trees off. For the water dumps, let's just put in some temporary roads for them as well. Now, is anyone working here? We Yes, that is good. We don't have any unemployed beavers anymore. So what we want to do, or at least what my idea is, is to build around these ruins over here. And now what is interesting, the water... Well, once the drought is over, it's going to be two levels high. And with the... What is it called? The uh, couple of the beaver's houses here that are two stories high. What is interesting with them is because the entrance is on second uh, floor or first floor, depends where, where, where you live and how you how you call it. But um, this means if you stick it in the water, it will not become flooded. If you put it this high. So what I want to do is to have. Let me try and get a good angle on this. Those lower, the first um, level one platforms. And then essentially start stacking up some some housing units in here. Uh, what I'm going to do now is quickly, because I don't know the exact design just yet. Let me just tinker with this a little bit and then I'll be back as soon as we got something uh, ready. Okay, I think we, uh, we do have something, at least a solid starting point. Uh, right, as the beavers are quite busy building up uh, this road network here, I'll quickly show you what we have done. So let me just go up a couple more times. Oh, wait, yeah, we have to have the blue ri blueprints open. Uh, so 1, 2, 3, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of platforms here, and I've used a mixture of... Um, of the medium and the big, uh, bigger housing, the triple large and the double ones. So as we go, not down, but up, we also got a couple of bridges over here that will link up different sections. So they do have access going in, in pretty much all the directions. And the reason why I wanted to use the triple one here and not the six by one is because the triple one does not use any, any metal. So that's going to be a little bit, a uh, little bit better for us. Now, if we go up another level, uh, we do have a staircase system here, which will bring them to a few smaller houses. So I wanted to use a mixture of different, different styles, so it doesn't all just look like a massive, some sort of um, Soviet era housing blocks. Uh, and hopefully, this will give us a bit of variety. We've also got a few decorations in place in here as well, and another triple one. And if we go up by another, and uh, this staircase brings us up even higher. And that should house uh, quite a quite a huge colony in here, actually. I think with this side, let's see, we've got a double house. Oh yeah, don't think we need. 
these in here just for the time being. And now all I've got to do is just let the let the beavers build all this up, which is going to take a lot of time, of course. But let's see, are the trees already done? Let's speed up the time quite a bit. And now we can, can pause this building, get some more builders in. I think we can bring over another six beavers, actually. However, we don't have any unemployed. Okay, so how many beavers do we have as builders right now? Well, there's quite a few in here, 12 in total. I think that should be okay. What I might do is uh, we'll just probably time lap lapse this section here. Final thing to do is connect these platforms. Oh, you haven't built this staircase. Okay, and I think we'll probably need you to be built. Uh, you're not bossed, are you? No. And the water has dropped even further. We still got 2.9 days. Uh, we're losing water this way. Okay, so how about you go back to 1.5? And I don't want you to let any water through. Because we're just wasting it here. A few uh, another good suge uh, suggestions in the in the comments were to deepen this lake, and I 100% agree with you. That is definitely going to be something that we'll do at at some point, but not just quite yet. I don't think we have enough. Well, we do have enough time dynamites, but it's going to be something we'll 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 do in the future. So for the for the time being, I'm just going to quickly save it, and then we'll we'll time lapse this progress. finally have our housing unit uh, completed it seems that took just way too many days but um, at least finally here it is let's just bring the overlay back on I've paused quite a few buildings whilst they were constructing this here as well and um, yeah that's that should give us a lot of space for for some new uh, new beavers which means we can get uh, demolish these housing units over here and this area can be um, repurposed for something else oh it seems we still have one house that is not done well that's a bit of a shame how come it's too far we might be missing oh it's below okay gotcha how do you feel now okay now, now they should have access to build the final house here in it as well. And I've also left a little, little bit of space. If we do want to expand this in the future, we should be able to do so. And same on this side as well. We still have quite a bit of space. 
Now I did not want to build the houses right next to the uh, next to the bridge over here because I feel this is some sort of a feature here in a way as well and don't don't really want to hide it. So it's nice and uh, nice and exposed in in here. But um, it seems yeah we're we should be able to bring quite a lot of it seems we have homes for 117 beavers. Currently we're sitting at at about 43. Uh, which means food will soon become an issue. And I think in the next episode we will create some sort of farmlands here. But also a very interesting style of um, uh, of a warehouse as well to store all those new goods that we'll, we'll be producing. Plus on, on top of that I do want to do a bit of landscaping here as well and make it look a little bit nicer now that we do have this uh, o oasis over here. And um, so once again... Thank you very much everyone for joining in uh, in this episode uh, and hopefully we'll see you again in the next.